Hey everyone, welcome back to another Jazzy Wicks Candle Review. Today I'm going to be reviewing another one of the Yankee Candle releases called Afternoon Escape. Um, and you can see down here, this is another one that I had in the Crumble Pot from Wax Addicts. Um, I did get a couple of uses out of it this time. I didn't use the whole pot um, and it was still really good having it as that crumble version. So you can see here, this is what it's melted like once I've burnt it in my little wax warmer for, an, well, I think I've burnt it for about four days now and it's only just really started to lose the smell. Um, so yeah, afternoon escape. The top notes for this are lemon and oh, cypress or cypress. I'm not sure how to pronounce that properly. Um, the mid is geranium, jasmine and lily with a base of cedarwood, amber and a woody tone. Um, so it says the top note is the initial impression of the fragrance. But for me, I didn't personally get any lemon. Um, it was more sort of a lily cross jasmine scent. Um, maybe a hint of like the amber woody sort of tones, but mostly a bit of a weaker floral scent. So I'd say this isn't as good as the sunny daydream that I reviewed previously in my last video um sunny daydream was really strong and considering it was more of a floral range i was surprised at how much i liked it and um, but this one i find it personally to just be a bit weaker than sunny daydream so if i was going to choose one or the other i would rather get sunny daydream if i was a big fan of floral candles um and for me to say that i'd buy sunny daydream again it's quite a big thing because I'm just not keen on floral scents. So yeah, Sunny Daydream's definitely been better out of the two for me. Um, Yankee Candle have brought this out in quite a few variations as well. Not as many as the Sunny Daydream. Um, you can get this in the large, medium and small jar. The tea lights, the votive and the milk cup. But Sunny Daydream did also have some extra items that you could get in that scent as well. For my throw rating... I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10, so probably still still fairly good. It is still, considering in my previous videos I've been saying that Yankee Candle haven't been performing as well recently, um, Sunny Daydream was absolutely lovely, and Afternoon Escape, I can still smell it. Um, it's still got a nice sort of florally tone to it with the undertone of the woody amber sort of notes, but I just think if you prefer floral scents, you're better to go for the Sunny Daydream. Um, but if you do like the smell of jasmine or lilies, definitely go for this. Um, I do like the smell of lilies, but I wasn't so keen on just the mixture all together. If it would have just been a pure lily candle, I would have absolutely loved it. Um, I have got a stargazer lily in my collection somewhere, but I will not be burning it because <laughs> it's so hard to get hold of. But yeah, that's that's what I'm going to say. Six, six out of ten. Sunny daydreams better. But if you do like more of a toned down floral scent then give Afternoon Escape a go. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I will try and get the rest of this collection out as soon as I can so it can get it reviewed and you can all grab one if you want before it stops selling. Um, I'll link it down below as well um, for the Yankee Candle website to Afternoon Escape. And I'll also link the Wax Addicts website if you do want to get yourself one of these little crumble pots to try before you go for the jar. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and I'll get a new review out for you soon.